Hello, hello. My name is Craig. I'm here to facilitate a Qigong class for you tonight. Today is March 2nd, 2021. It is 5.59. Just a minute before 6 p.m. Just going to give it a couple of minutes before I start this class. As always, welcome. Whatever time you're checking this, you could be checking this live. You could be watching the replay. Always appreciate anyone who would like to participate in this class. For those who are wondering what's going to happen, what is this class about? This class, as you see in the title, is a Qigong class. Qigong is an ancient Chinese mindfulness, energy cultivation, wellness practice. It's been practiced for thousands of years. For this class, we will be coordinating gentle movement with the breath. There will also be some stretching, some tapping, and even a standing meditation at the end. But as always, this is your class. This is your practice. Even though this is a 16 minute class, you can break it up. You can take breaks, do it at your own pace and rhythm. Any of the movements that you see me doing for this class, you can modify them for getting yourself for your own capacities. Uh, as long as you are feeling comfortable, so wear comfortable clothing, some comfortable clothing that you can move in. I'll be standing for this class. But you can do this class seated, you can even do it laying down. I think most of the movements I'll be doing tonight can be done in a variety of positions. Sometimes I do do gestures that involve the legs um, and different stances, but I think tonight, most of the movements, gestures I'll be doing can be done seated or even laying down. Um, again, it feels good for you. And we'll be in class in just one minute. And always, thanks for checking this class out. For those who are watching this live, if you have any questions, you can submit them through Facebook get to um, but otherwise let's begin actually let me give a breakdown of the class so for the next five minutes it's pretty much a, a way to ground it's called the three adjustments also known as the three of treasures you'll be aligning the three treasures which are body breath and mind so we'll just be checking them with the body, the breath, and mind, so we get the most of that Qigong practice. And after adjusting and aligning the three treasures, we'll move into the five basic ballet Qigong movements. These comprise pretty much the first 25 minutes of the class. Any ballet Qigong class you see will have these five movements. And then the second half class, the, the second half hour. That will comprise of stretching, tapping, some gentle flowing movements, and then at the end I'll throw in a two to three minute standing meditation. And again, do this at your own pace, take care of yourself. Qigong is a practice for health and wellness, not about for strain or pain. Or pushing past your limits about listening to yourself, take an opportunity to de stress, to listen, to just be here, not worry about doing, more just about being and how you are feeling. So now that I've given that introduction, let's begin class. Um, let me step a little bit further so you can see my feet. And what I want you to do right now, or what I invite you to do, is just take an opportunity to just notice how you're feeling, check in with your environment. Look around, check in with your feet, check in with your hands. Um, notice what space is around you. And make sure you have enough space to move. You can stick your hands out, jump towards the sky, behind you. Just notice that. This is your practice. And then for those who are standing, what I'm gonna do is bring both feet together. And let's again bring our attention to the feet. Noticing how they're supported by your earth and connecting to the ground. Noticing how that feels right now. And 
in this practice, I'll be marrying you. So when I say step out with your left foot, it'll be my right foot, but that's okay. So let's begin. So step out with your left foot. So feet are now both flat on the ground, separate, foot parallel facing forward. Weight is equally distributed between both feet. And let's begin aligning the body. So again, second with the feet. Does it feel like the feet are sinking into the ground, connecting to the earth? How does that feel? Standing in a way that feels comfortable for you. All right, let's check in with the knees. Knees are soft. If you like, you can lock, then gently unlock the knees. Let's check in with the pelvis. Pubic bone is tilted up. Tailbone, sacrum is tucked underneath the spine. This level is comfortable. Let's check in with the chest, chest is open. Let's check in with the arms and the hands, arms just hanging down by the side. Slight bend the elbows, palms can be facing towards the body, fingers can be spread apart. We want to be soft and loose in the body. Tension and tightness is what we're trying to avoid. We want to be in a more relaxed, soft state to help us shift into a state of healing and to help you connect with your chi, which is energy. And let's take some time to do some exercises to release tension in the neck, the shoulders, and the wrists. So if you'd like to follow along, I'll be going through a few exercises. If you have ones that you prefer to do for yourself, take some time to do that now. So I'll start with the shoulders. If you'd like, you can do a few shoulder shrugs. Let's do four. So you can inhale, shrug your shoulders up to your ears. And on the exhale, you let the shoulders drop. You get to the side. Let's do that a few more times at your own pace. Just do my final time. Let's take time to release stress and tension in the neck. So I'm going to do a few neck rotations. I'll do two in two different directions. So let's go out of chin to drop towards chest and a lot of nose to lead the movement. Nose circles. Do two rotations in this direction. Then we reverse it. Those falling on. When you finish those rotations, just bring your head over the spine, head over heart, and let's take some time just to release some tension in the wrists. So you can follow along, just gonna circle the wrists five times in this direction. Do one more, and then reverse it. Also, slide your hands again, hang down, just noticing how you feel right now. And let's finish the line of the body. Let's check in with the head. Let's just imagine that there's a string coming down from the sky, connects to the top of your head, your crown, and you're just hanging from that string. And this allows your spine to be upright, but you're just soft throughout the body. Noticing how that. Let's check in with the brow and the jaw, see if you can release tightness and tension there. Check in with the eyes, eyes can be a soft gaze, whatever allows you to just be here, present, and comfortable for this practice. Check in with the mouth, the mouth can be a form of smile, tongue can be resting at the roof of the mouth, and chin can be tucked in down the top of your head, or towards the sky. And that's it for aligning the body. Let's move into aligning the breath. In this Qigong practice, we do what is known as Dantian breathing, also known as belly breathing. And to demonstrate, I'll bring the left hand to the abdomen. So when you take in the breath as you inhale, as your lungs go to the air, 
The abdomen expands as you exhale. The abdomen softens as the lungs exhale. Do that one more time. And inhale. As you breathe in, the lungs fill. Navel moves away from the spine as the abdomen fill. Exhale. Navel moves close to the spine. Abdomen softens. You can do that type of breathing throughout the entire practice. But again, do what feels good for you. You can engage in just natural breathing. We do belly breathing because it helps stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system, which helps shift into relaxation and healing. And lastly, let's take a moment to bring our attention to the present and set an intention to bring our attention for the present for these practices. So if you would like, you can check in with your senses, check in with your environment, check in with how you're feeling inside if that's available for you. Take this opportunity as you're going through this practice, doing the movements to check in and notice when you shift your awareness to the past or the future. See if you can find a way Come back to the present. That's where we have our most power and most healing ability. All right, now that I have gone through the alignment of the three treasures, let's begin this practice. We're going to start with the full body breathing, so with your arms just hang down by the side. We're going to start. We're going to inhale and draw the hands up towards the sky. And as your fingers point up, exhale the hands down and out by the side. We start the movement, so we're going to draw the hands back up on the inhale. Exhale the hands down and down on the side. And noticing how that feels. Modifying the movement, going at your own pace. Seeing how it feels to coordinate the body with the breath. Now you see if you feel any tightness, tension in the new area. See if you can soften and release that tension or modify the movement so it works for you. Let's do two more repetitions in this direction. And then we will reverse the direction of this movement. So we'll have the hands come up by the side. And float down the front of the body. We'll do this after this repetition. So you find your hands flowing down by the side. And now I'm going to inhale, have those hands go up to the sides. And we're going to exhale, the hands down in front of the body. Notice how that feels. Noticing what you're sensing. Noticing what you're experiencing and feeling. Let's do three more repetitions. This will be my final repetition. And we'll transition to the next movement. Here we 
Okay, by your hands point down, okay, right? Like this one. You could bring your hands to the back end, the lower abdomen, and palms will be facing up. Fingers will be pointing towards each other with a little space in between. I know it feels comfortable for you. And we're going to begin the next move. So on the inhale, draw the hands up towards the heart. Then turn the palms over and exhale, allow your hands to flow down. Starting movement, turn your palms up, inhale, turn your palms over, and exhale. How does this movement feel for you? Again, modify it, alter it anyway. So it serves you, serves your flow. It allows you to be present, it allows you to be comfortable. Doing these slow and gentle movements repetitively, rhythmically, stimulates and healing the spine. Let's do two more repetitions. Then we'll transition to the heart working movement. My final repetition. So let's transition to the neck movement. Let's find ourselves inhaling hands back up to the heart. And when our hands make it to the heart, we're just going to bring our fingers so they're pointed up towards the sky. Palms are facing each other. Let's imagine that we're holding a ball between our hands. You can bring that ball, whatever you connect with in this moment, like you see what. Whatever comes to your mind's eye. Stay in that for a brief moment. And let's transition to the next gesture. Let's allow the hands to move forward. Slight bend the elbows. And let's begin. We're going to inhale. Allow the hands to open up. You can look up, feel the stretch of the chest. And then exhale, look forward. Bring the hands. Close together, but not touching. Let's restart from the inhale. Open up, feel the stretch in the chest. Exhale, look forward. See how that feels. So inhale, open up. You can allow the hands to turn the arms, redo the movement. Let's do three more repetitions. Do you seem to feel anything between your hands? No worries if you do not. This will be my final repetition on this end. We're going to transition to the next gesture. So, what we're going to do is we're going to turn our palms to the faces towards our chest, fingers are pointing towards each other. We're now going to inhale and draw the hands in towards the body. We're going to exhale, draw the hands chase over the torso. And now we're going to swivel the palms around and we're going to inhale the hands 
up to shoulder height. Good then gonna turn the palms over and exhale, let the hands flow down. And hands can flow past the body to extend the exhale. Then turn the palms back up and inhale. Over and exhale. So it's called flying motion. Let's see how that feels. And there are many variations of flying motion. I'll go through a few of them. Again, these variations are optional, so stick with what works for you. I'll start with the first one. So on the inhale, as you're drawing your hands up, you can shift your weight to the front of the feet. As you put the palms over, you can shift your weight to the back of your foot. And the feet will remain planted on the ground as you engage with variations. So inhale, shift the weight to the front of each foot. Exhale, the hands go down, shift the weight to the back. Looks like you're giving yourself a few socks. Inhale, sit forward. Exhale, sit back. Do two more, just a little variation. And my apologies for the background noise. That's why I'm busy speaking. This is the final repetition. Let's transition to bringing both feet together. So, on the inhale, you're drawing the hands up. You can bring the left foot to the right. Turn your palms over and left. Foot steps away from the right foot. Over the alternate. Inhale, hands up, bring the right to left. Exhale. Body hands forward. And let's see how this feels. Engaging in this various and this various and has variations. Maybe if you're stepping your feet apart, you want to sit. On the inhale, you want to rise back up. Or maybe you want to make this more of a balance pack. Bring the feet together, you can have most of the weight in one foot. Or you can even lift the front foot or lift the one leg. Like so. Do two more passes. One pass with each foot. And then let's do three passes, feet planted on the ground, hands just floating up and down. Let's go back to shoulder heights, whatever feels comfortable for you. Line them flow down. Let's do two more passes. Noticing what you feel, noticing what you sense. This will be my final repetition. Let's 
Broadway. And when you've done your final revision, you just go, I and here's that hang by the side, you need to wiggle your fingers. Just kind of make sure that you're moving your toes. We're going to move into shaking. Shaking, also known as shaking tree or cooking shaking. It's a way of releasing stress, moving the body. You can do it in a way that feels comfortable for you. You can do it in a light way or ask more intensity, whatever feels good. So I'm going to start. I'll actually just jump right into it. I'm just going to start shaking. Imagining that there is just light coming down. I can reflect that light so I can shake it. I can shake it all around. But do whatever it feels good to you. I can shake out a leg at a time. I can shake from side to side. We're just going to do shaking for a few minutes. You can engage in a high vibration shake. Or just something really slow, gentle, and light. Or maybe you just like to dance. Just whatever feels good for you. And in this shaking practice, we do what is called living breaths. It's just a way of releasing stress, tension, audibly, vocally. So we'll do three living breaths. Here are the instructions for doing living breaths. When I say inhale, you take a deep breath and exhale. Let out a sound or a sigh that feels good for you. Anything that you'd like to release, that you feel comfortable releasing, out of it, or through the breath. So let's go, let's do three. Inhale. Let's do two more. Inhale. Finish up this shaking practice. We've been shaking for a bit. We can bring the hands out by the sides and shake. Let's bring the hands overhead. Let's bring the hands in front of the body. Let's bring the hands behind the body. Let's bring the hands up to the side. You have the fingers pointing down. And if it's available to you, you can bend the knees and hips, get close to the ground, and then you can return to being upright, centered, and let's finish off this practice in 30 seconds. So shake out whatever you like to shake out. And then we'll just begin to bring it to a close so you can begin to slow down. You can slow down in 10 seconds. If you're able, you can come to stillness, or if that's not available to you, you can come to rocking or swaying. Just taking this time to just be. If you do have the ability to be still, noticing the tingling, noticing the sensations, how does that feel? If you're unable to be still, this is understandable. Be with swaying, rocking, noticing what's in your environment. Checking in with your senses. This is a practice, practice with just being present. Maybe 
Do you like to connect with yourself? Do you like to bring hands to your body? Good feels good for you. It allows you to be here. To be with yourself, to support yourself. Noticing how you feel, noticing where your awareness is, noticing where you're connected to right now. And checking with yourself, checking with your feet, checking with your breath, checking with what you're sensing, hearing, tasting, touching. Just allow yourself to just be. We'll be here for another 30 seconds. Then we'll transition to the second half of class. We'll start off with the tapping. This is big. When you're all set, you just lie on it. You have your hands. Connect to yourself, just lie here as well as the body, hand down by the side. And again, just checking in with yourself how you're feeling, how you're doing. And let's begin the second half of class. We're going to start off with tapping. That's just using your hands and just down and tap different areas of your body. Um, tapping is not something you prefer or bring some stuff. I suggest the alternative massaging or even tracing. I'm just gonna tap a few different areas. I'm gonna tap the chest, the arms, and the legs. It's a short tapping practice. So we can begin this on step a little closer to the camera. So let's begin and we can just start with how whatever feels good. You can make a soft fist or you can use your fingertips. Whatever feels good, we're gonna start tapping the chest. Noticing how that feels and tap as intensely or as lightly as you would like. And you can tap from going horizontal or up and down. Noticing how that feels. Then we'll transition to tapping down each arm and tapping up each arm. We'll start with the way arm. So you can extend. Right hand out, palm up. And as you're tapping the right side of the chest, the left arm, you can tap down the inner, the right arm, turn the palm over, tap up the other arm. And we're going to do this two more times for a total of three times. transition to the other arm. So I'm just going to extend the left hand up and I'll start with tapping the side of the left chest. Let me do with the other arm and tap down the inner arm. And the palm over to tap up the other arm. Do this two more times with a total of three. into tapping the legs, or next we're actually start with the lower back and the kidneys. So if you like, you can make soft fists again, or, whatever, or use the palms and your hands, whatever feels comfortable for you. We'll just tap the lower back, kidney area. You can tap on one specific area, you can go up, up and down, whatever's available to you, whatever feels comfortable and good. Or as always, as an alternative, you can massage. And let's begin tapping down the back of the legs, tapping up the inner legs. Let's begin. So you can start tapping down the back of the legs, tapping front, front. 
foot, tap it up the inner legs. And we're going to do this two more times for a total of three times. And, um, the class. We're going to move into some Qigong exercises that have some stretching involved. So let's make that happen. And I'm actually going to incorporate some of the eight bouquet exercises. So we'll start off with supporting the heavens. So we're going to interlock the fingers, palms are going to be turned up by the abdomen, by the gut here. And we're going to draw the hands up in front of the body. Inhale. We're going to exhale, press up, and stretch. It is available to you. You can rise up onto your toes, within the arches, and that's something that you want to do to stretch too. Ready, you can just allow your feet to be flat on the ground, release the stretch, and you can allow the hands to just flow out to the side. You can exhale. You can do that again. Interlock the fingers. Draw the hands on the inhale up from the body. Press the palms up. Stretch. You can rise up onto your toes, that feels good. And when you're ready, just release the hands up to the side. We're going to do this one more time. This time, we're just going to turn at the waist. So the hands are drawn up over the head. So let's turn at the waist towards the left. Mindful of the knee, feel the stretch. And then when we turn the center, we're going to turn to the right side. We turn to the center, release the hands, allow the hands to pull down. We'll do that one more time. Take out the fingers, inhale. Draw the hands up. Stretch. Turn to our left. Feel the stretch. Turn to the center. So we can turn to the right. Feel the stretch. We turn to the center. Release the hands. Out of the arms and slow down. All right. Now we're going to transition to another eight K's exercise that has a stretch as part of it. We're going to move into separating heaven and earth. And we can also incorporate balance in that too. So, a lot of variations for this gesture. So, we're going to draw the hands up. Imagine that you're almost holding a ball. Palms facing each other. Hands are apart. Heart height, chest height. What we're going to do is going to allow the left hand to drop. Fingers facing forward. Right hand go up. Fingers are pointing to the left side. I'm noticing how you feel. And now we're going to switch the position of the arms. We're going to bring. Both hands back to the center, but now we're going to let the right hand drop, left hand press up. And now we're going to add a stretch. Let's bring your hand towards the center. Press the right hand up, left hand drops. And if you like, you can bend and stretch towards the left. Feel the stretch. In the right side of your body. 
turn to center, bring the hands to the heart, dropping the right hand, left hand goes up, and now we'll bend towards the right, feeling the stretch. That's the left side. Return to center. We'll do this one more time for each side. Going to do a Bring both hands to the side. You can just allow palms to face down, just allow your hands to flow down to finish the exercise. All right. So those are just a couple of stretching, eight or okay gestures that we found been helpful, enjoyable. Let's move into the rest of our practice. Let's move into so isometrics. Only do this from time to time, but feel like a good follow-up from all that stretch. So for isometrics, the breathing pattern is whatever feels good to you. For isometrics, I tend to breathe in and then on the exhale I press out, but you might like want to do the reverse. So let's go through the isometrics sequence. Isometrics is just a way of just bringing strength to some of these movements. So what we're going to do, we're just going to draw hands back up to the chest, to the heart. And we're going to imagine that we're going to, we have these walls we need to press. There's going to be a wall in front of us, above us, below us, and inside of us. So let's start off with the wall in front. Again, go with the breathing pattern that works for you. But I'm going to inhale. I'm going to exhale and press this wall away, creating a boundary. And I'm just going to soften, inhale, draw the hands back towards the center. Now I'm going to exhale, press this wall up. And then inhale, soften. Press, exhale, downwards, inward, inhale, soften the hands, and we're going to do the final part of the sequence, and then we'll just go one more time. Inhale, exhale, press the walls away. Inhale, draw the hands back to center. We'll go through that one more time. And you can let out a sigh, whatever it's sound or noise works for you. This is your practice. So inhale. <sighs> inhale, draw the hands back to the center. We're going to press up. Now we're going to press down. And finally, we're going to press both hands out. Try the hands back to the center. Finally, I slow down. Notice me how that feels. Now we're going to move in to some more gentle flowing movement. I have a few favorites I like to do. I'll start off with, start off with fountain. So to do fountain, we are going to turn our hands to the back of the hands, fist toward each other, palms are facing away, and we're going to start. Hand by waist height, 
We're going to inhale the hands up. Let the hands make it towards the heart, the chest. We're going to exhale. Hands float up. Circle around. And restart the movement. Back of the hands facing towards each other. Inhale, turn the hands up to the center. Exhale, hands circle around. Joe and Pace. Inhale, inhale the water up the center. Exhale. Water is circled around like a front. You want to incorporate the hips in this. As you inhale, the hands up, hips draw in. You exhale. Hands out, hips drop back. As you're doing the movement, you can see how it feels to extend the exhale. Extending the exhale on the breath is a way of Stimulating more of a relaxation response. Let's do this five more times at your own pace. Two more repetitions to go in my end. And yeah, this is my final repetition. As you're doing final repetition, remain upright, slide your hands, go down by the side. Step over for it for the next gesture, the next movement, which will be in the thing ball. And let's just do a quick time check. All right, doing pretty good. So, with the arms relaxed, we're going to move in the lifting ball. The lifting ball is just one arm at a time. We're just going to imagine that we have a ball, and we'll start with the left hand. And it's a heavy ball, something that you can just feel weight. To do this movement, we're going to draw the left hand towards the right side, turn at the hips the way. So as you inhale the hands up, turn the palm over, exhale. Find the hand pull down, return to the left side. And we're now going to do that same movement with the right hand. So again, imagine you have a somewhat heavy ball in hand. So again, you feel weight with. And then we're going to inhale, draw right hand across the back, turn the hips, turn the palm over, exhale, out the hands, go down. And we're just going to continue to alternate. So inhale, turn the palm over, exhale. And you can lift the hand up to a comfortable height. I recommend shoulder height or chest height. But really, whatever feels good for you. Just allowing yourself to focus on the blood. Modifying the movement so it's comfortable for you. We 
You're going to do two more passes for each hand. The final two repetitions of my hand. And you're almost set with those final two repetitions, just checking in with yourself. You can wiggle your hands, wiggle your toes. Just noticing how you feel, noticing how your body feels, checking into your joints, noticing if you can start seeing tightness, tension in here, in any place. See if you can again release, soften. We're going to move into prayer ranks. So we're going to bring our hands to the heart, palms connect together, and do this movement. You can add a slight sink, sink in the chest. And then you can inhale, open, separate the palms. Palms are going to face out, open the chest, lift the forehead, exhale, sink the chest. You can sink down a little bit with the knees. Inhale, open. Face apart. Exhale. And in. Listen how that feels. So when you open, you're opening your chest. Bring the hands in, you're sinking the chest. Let's do this three more times. One more repetition. And you can bring your hands, you have the knuckles of the hands connected to the sternum, get close to the heart. Let's see how that feels. Let's see if you feel anything in your hand. Just check it with yourself. And you can just allow the hands to flow in. Class is coming to a close. We'll do a couple more exercises. So let's shift into pushing waves. And there's some ways to do it, but I'm just going to do it in a way where I'm just keeping the feet planted on the ground. The joints are soft. I'll just start with the hands about the waist height. And you just imagine that you're in the palm of your hand, you can push and create waves. So inhale, exhale, just press forward. Push your hands forward. Inhale, draw the hands in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. If you want to transition to a split stance, you can have the right foot step out, the left foot draw in, and you can shift from one foot to another. If that's a build, you know what feels good for you.
We'll do three more on this side. It's my final repetition. Okay, we'll switch the split stance and bring up the left foot. Okay, just pressing, creating waves, pressing them out. Inhale, drawing them in. Let's see how that feels. And for those who are engaged in the split tent fence, as you exhale and press out, you're shifting the weight to the front foot. On the inhale, you're shifting the weight to the back foot. Let's do three more. And this is my final repetition. If you completed your final repetition, you just allow your hands to slow down and we'll engage in a two minute standing meditation. I'll go in and embrace the tree, hug the tree. A standard standing meditation. So if you'd like to follow along and participate, we're just gonna with our hands just Loose and hang down. We're going to allow our wrists to just draw up to about shoulder and chest height. We're going to have the fingers turn towards each other. We're just going to imagine that we're embracing, hugging, and training. The arms are round. Or maybe you're embracing a beach ball. Yeah, we're just going to hold this position for two minutes. This is standing meditation. Even as you're doing the standing, standing meditation, see if you notice movement, even though you're in some ways not moving. Noticing what you sense. And you can drop your shoulders down, drop your elbows, loosen the fingers. Engage in the standing meditation. Finding ways to just be here, be present. But be aware, noticing where your attention is. If you are experiencing any like tightness or strain in your shoulders, you can lie in, drop down, and bring the hands back up or lower the hands down. Whatever works for you. Got one more minute. Just noticing what you sense in your arms, your hands, your feet. Noticing the breath. In and out. Okay, we're almost set. Got 15 seconds to go. Right. You just turn your palms down, allow the hands to just flow down. We're going to close this practice. We're going to do clearing, so some of the strong down heaven. So the hands hang down by the side. We're going to inhale the hands up towards the sky, and we're going to bring the left foot to the right foot for those who are standing. And with the palms facing towards yourselves, exhale, allow the hands to flow down. From the body, taking in whatever you need from this class. And we're going to do that clearing movement two more times without moving the legs, going at your own pace. Inhale, palms face up towards the sky. Exhale, palms face down. 
want in yourself, with whatever would support you in this moment. One more time, the final petition of my end. To completely close this practice in the Valley Qigong tradition. This time I'll not be wearing you. I'm going to bring up my own right hand. You can bring your right hand. And you can make a soft fist. This will represent Yang energy. I'm going to bring up my left hand. You can bring up yours. Palm will be open toward the sky. This left hand will represent Yin energy. And what we'll do is bring left over right. As we combine yin and yang at the center. So left hand drapes over right hand. And let's take this opportunity to bow to ourselves. We're engaging in this qigong practice. We're engaging in self-care, wellness, connection. And as always, I want to thank you for allowing me to be your facilitator. Hopefully this class will support you in your healing, your well-being, your connection with yourself and everything around you. I want to thank Twerbo, Valley Qigong, Darren John, Royal Aichai, so many great people who have allowed me to learn and share this practice. Thank you. Take good care of yourselves. Till next time. Live well and be well.